Hey guys, Drifter here. Welcome to Advanced Warfare In-Depth. In today's episode, we're going to be reviewing the SN6 Money. This is the elite variant of the SN6 for all you SN6 fans out there. The gameplay that you're going to get to see is what I'm going to consider very average gameplay because that's kind of how I feel about the SN6. I feel that it's a very average-ish sort of elite weapon, probably shouldn't be classed as elite, and that the SN6 in general could use a little love, but we'll talk about that later in the episode. Right now, let's talk about the good things that make the SN6 so elite. First of all, we have a slight increase to medium range damage. The five shot kill range is getting pushed back by about 20%. Now your four shot kill range is unchanged and your six shot kill range is unchanged but that medium range is pushed back so you won't be getting as many six shot kills. You'll be getting a lot more five shot kills and that's going to increase your time to kill over range a little bit but it's not the biggest buff to range. I I'm going to call it a medium increase. You also get 10% less recoil. It's not very noticeable. You might notice it over the base variant but it's not like super significant significant and you probably won't feel it, but that kind of plays to the strengths of the weapon because the base SN6 was a very accurate submachine gun as is. That was kind of its niche, its specialty, is that it was just extremely accurate. So when you have 10%, 10% less recoil on top of that accuracy, and then if you do something crazy like I do, like put a foregrip on it, it's an extremely accurate submachine gun, almost laser-like, perhaps the most accurate in the game. And that's one of the strength, that, I mean, that's, that's what makes the SN6 the SN6, although unfortunately it's not like super noticeable, you won't feel it right off the bat and you get plus one reserve magazine you get a little bit of extra starting ammo kind of like if you started with scavenger or something and uh, very condescendingly or smart acidly I'll say that you're going to need it considering how many shots it takes to kill with this weapon this is unfortunately a hit marker machine kind of uh, submachine gun you're gonna get a lot of five shots to kill some six shots to kill all minimum four so you're gonna need that reserve mag considering how many bullets you're gonna be putting downstream in order to kill people there are two drawbacks to the SN6 I consider the minor drawbacks both the buff both the positives and negatives of this weapon were relatively minor you have 20 percent slower aim down sights time this one you might notice a little bit it's not going to be the most obvious thing it's very easy to fix with quick draw grip you'll definitely not notice at all with that and you have 10 percent wider hip fire spread which the sn6 is a pretty horrible hip fire submachine gun because of the shots to kill and the rate of fire etc etc and you're not going to be hip firing it a lot so you're probably not going to notice this from much either so again very minor detriments on this very you know very minor drawback so unfortunately I don't think that the SN6 money is a very good elite weapon it doesn't fix any of the core problems with the SN6 and it doesn't have any major buffs both the range buff and the accuracy buff were fairly minor and the current problem isn't necessarily that the variant is bad but the SN6 I don't want to say it's bad but it's unfortunately not very competitive I actually liked the SN6 when the game first came out that was when the ASM1 was very weak and a lot of the other SMGs were weak but they buffed a few of them and made them better, namely the ASM-1, and now the SN-6 just can't quite compete with the other SMGs. It's not a bad weapon, it's definitely not a horrible or unusable weapon, it's fully automatic and kills in four or five shots in most cases, so you can definitely kill people with it, but the other ones are just a little bit better, and if you want to play competitive, if you want to play hard, if you want to guarantee that you're going to get the best, the most of whatever, the SN-6 isn't where you're going to go, you can use the SN-6 for fun because you feel like it, because you like variety, because the, because the gun feels good, because you're playing hardcore or something like that but it's just not the greatest. I feel that this weapon could use a buff and I'm, I'm getting a little bit off the rails here. If we're going to have an accurate SMG that kills slowly and we don't want another three shot one that melts people, I would say instead of allowing it to drop off to a six shot kill, which makes it pretty dumpy with the low rate of fire, I think it should just get a flat damage buff and be a four to five shot to kill. Just four to five shots at any range, it'll have a very consistent feeling and since it's accuracy, I mean since it's very accurate, it'll play to that strength of accuracy and feel like you're killing people very consistently over ranges because you're going to actually be able to hit them and get those five shots to kill at ranges and I think that'd make it a much better SMG. Anyway that's just my idea on it. That's my spill on it. I hope you enjoyed it. That's all for this episode of In Depth. If you enjoyed it don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. The previous episode is on the RW1 Rail Driver. The next episode is going to be on the MK14 Eagle Eye. Finally going to be reviewing those Mark 14 variants. Got a couple of those to go through. Going to try to find a good one and we're going to talk about what, what makes the MK14 not as fun as it should be. As always, if you enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe. Drifter out.